what's up hello y'all it's your girl your bob and goddess oh welcome to my channel for all my newbies if you are here for the first time thank you guys for checking me out while you're here please like and subscribe in addition come follow your girl i'm on facebook and instagram evolve and goddess 444 um for all my people that have been rocking with me from the beginning i love y'all thank you so much for your continued support make sure y'all drop a like on my video please <laughs> All right, guys, um, we don't really have too much. We'll go ahead and jump it right in. This is going to be for our Leos, February 1st to February 9th. What empowerment do you need to hear? What motivation? What messages do you need to hear from February 1st to February 9th? Um, one of my best friends is a Leo. She knows who she is. I love you, girl. <laughs> and um, if I forgot anybody, there are some other Leos that I know, too, so... I, I know how y'all roll. I definitely know how y'all roll. And I love y'all, you know, water and fire, perfect max, okay? So I just want to go ahead and say, guys, these are general readings. So the intention is always set that we, you will be able to walk away with something resonating for you at the end of this reading. They are general though. So not all the messages may apply to you and that's all right. Just means another Leo needs to hear that. Um, I haven't cut the deck yet on this one, but I am just going to let you guys know right now at the bottom of the deck, it does say surrender stress, okay? So if you are stressing out about something, surrender that. It's a new moon, y'all. Let, let it go today, all right? Set those intentions and put it out there and let it go, right? So these are messages on how you can live your best life, Leo. What is it that you need to know? So I always shuffle off camera. Y'all know that. Any shuffle I do on camera is just extra because I'm fairly new to YouTube. So I'm trying to make my videos shorter. <laughs> but I love y'all. So thank you for rocking with me anyway. So the Knight of Wands popped out, right? That's fire energy. Knight of Wands is somebody who's very charismatic. Um, he can be an in and out type person, right? If he is not interested in something. But he's passionate, right? He takes flight. He, you know, goes with the flow. And if it's something he wants, he goes after it. And I know that's my Leo team. So maybe you're stressing out about something that you're wanting to go after. But we'll see, Spirit. What does our Leo team need to know right now? February 1st to February 9th. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. This talks about fast movement. Okay. Um, so I'm being nosy, right? A little bit at the, end, at the bottom of the deck. You, these are horses. So horses are very powerful, right? And they are fast. So things are changing. Things are moving forward fast. Maybe you were in a place where you were kind of in solitude, especially with the hermit. Okay. Something new, something new that you wanted, a new passion in the beginning and something could be a job, relationship, um, promotion, um, project just whatever it was is something that is very creative okay because something ended something ended ten of, ten of swords right there's been an ending to allow a new passion a beginning and something and you kind of went into solitude or there is a need for you to go into solitude so that you can move forward have that forward movement so the hermit card just talks about um the hermit card just talks about you know going within to find the answers and also um, knowing that all the answers lie within you, okay, so that you can move forward and move in the right direction, right? So really quick, I just kind of pulled over the first four cards. Um, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Sun, and the King of Pentacles. All right, so right now you have a power couple on the board, okay? King and Queen of Pentacles. You guys might have been in a place where... There's been no communication, right? There's going to be some kind of new passion at the beginning. The king, and ten, the king and queen, that is a power play. It's the same suited couple, guys. These are earth signs, right? So you could be dealing with the earth sign, right? But nonetheless, these are practical people. You know, they're very successful. They are go-getters, right? They take the logical approach. They're not really risk takers. They're very earthly. They're down to earth. And like I said, they're practical, you know, this is the CEO and this is the boss. So the this is definitely a power couple. 
okay? So the, the judgment card and the sun card, I feel like, you know, there was a time of life with you, right? So you have maybe reached a point where you're kind of looking over everything. Cycles are changing. Things are coming to an end. And you're maybe looking at, okay, well, what happened? What have I learned, right? What can I carry with me forward? How can I come out of this energy so that I can move forward and moving towards my happiness? So you might have left a situation that was not serving you. Maybe you're following your calling, right? The judgment card always talks about kind of a new beginnings. After an ending, there's a new beginning. And judgment is like a, a higher overview, right? So you could be following your calling. Um, the, the sun card, there's something that makes you happy, right? Transformation, new beginnings. You know, there could be a new start with this king and queen's couple. Things could be moving forward fast. You know, there could be a baby. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you've had a baby, right? Yeah, because sunflowers always talk about new beginnings. Butterflies talks about changes. And we have the horse. So this is like very, I feel like this is very, this is a powerful couple. I feel like this is definitely for a couple. If it's not for if it's not for a couple and it's for an individual, I definitely feel like there's a need for you to make sure that you're going within, right? Going within to because there's some kind of passion beginning you're wanting, right? So if this is a business for you, especially with the King of Pentacles, you know, there's gonna be a need to have that balance of the feminine and the masculine energy. So the masculine energy goes to get it done. The feminine energy is the creator, right? So there's a need to have that balance and be able to balance both of those energies, okay? And you do that by kind of going over your life lessons, your life mistakes, kind of knowing what has worked for you in the past and what hasn't. And by doing that, staying grounded, right, you're going to have forward movement fast. And you're going to have happiness. The sun card is like wishes, dreams coming true. And the king of pentacles could mean that you are either going to meet a king of pentacles or a king of pentacles is going to meet a queen of pentacles. Or it could just mean that you are going to be standing in your power. Right? You'll be standing in your power by embodying both of those energies. All right, so the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands. So Five of Wands talks about competition. It talks about conflict, right? So definitely I feel like there's a need to stay grounded in order for you to move forward and get out of this conflict. So the Five, it talks about changes. So the need to change your perspective, guys. There's a need to change the perspective and really look at it with the judgment card being right here, really looking at it like, how can I rise above this? With all the things that I have learned, this is nothing. I can definitely get past this, right? I can definitely become that queen or that king of pentacles. Or we can definitely come together, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the five, this picture is like, I feel like it's definitely something that is just like, it's like internal, right? It's internal. Maybe it's something that, that's not even real because in this picture, we have three men and two lions. That's you guys, right? Um, two lions. So yeah, that could be this couple, a power couple because lions are Leos and you got... So this definitely could be a couple, guys. I'm feeling a couple fat, for a moment fast, okay? Um, but nonetheless, we have three men fighting and two lions fighting. So that's something that's totally unreal because... Who's going to be fighting with two lions right there? You ain't. <laughs> I'm not. So I definitely feel like this is just internal. It's nothing on the physical. It's something that's internal. So there's a need to kind of stay grounded, right? So that you can get out of that energy and move forward. Beautiful, guys. So the judgment card is clarified by the will card. A cycle is ending or a cycle has ending. You are or ended. You are on the birth of a new passionate beginning, a new stable beginning, and it's coming in fast, okay? But definitely a need to go ahead and um, release, especially with that stress card, right? So maybe you're stressing because of the changes. But this lady on the, on the world, she got here because she became at peace with herself, right? She's grounded. She doesn't let out her outer um, situations 
define who she is and she doesn't allow that to give her that internal conflict right there's definitely a need to know who you are stand firm in who you are stand grounded so that you can move forward right those things that have happened to you in your life they were not in vain they were to get you here so that you can start a new beginning all right so the sun card is clarified by the six of cups so with the six of cups it talks about a couple of different things um, with this power couple being here this could have been a past relationship that is now resurfacing right because it makes you happy a cycle is completed you've learned your life your life lessons and you're ready to move forward you're ready to move forward ready to come towards your boo okay um it also could mean thinking about the past and it could be bad right so when we think about the past we can't stay there guys we have to move forward okay so this is definitely a matter of in order for you to have that fast moving or these eight of wands with the horses if you want to accelerate and move forward it's about not staying in the past because we cannot move forward if we're stuck in the past okay yeah because i feel like she is looking at her past and she's like but you know what i want i'm walking towards this king of pentacles like i i want this king of pentacles like i want this lifestyle i want this business i want this promotion i want to leave behind I want to leave the, the, the old behind to go towards this King of Pentacles. Yeah, she's definitely walking towards that. So I feel like there's definitely a need to kind of leave the past behind. So <laughs> I'm, la I'm laughing at this part, but um, leave the past behind so that you can get to, get to your happiness, okay? And keep the faith. This is the star card, okay? So the star card, it talks about belief. It talks about hope. It talks about faith. It talks about your wishes. What are your wishes, right? So definitely leaving the past behind so that you can come into the new. So you can get your wishes, right? I feel like maybe there's some mental conflict because you're thinking too much about the past. All right? And there's a need to let go of that so that you can have forward movement. You know, the only thing we want to take from the past is the lessons that we learned, right? So that we can move forward because this new opportunity... Um, like I said, it could be business or it could just be a relationship, a, a re, a restart at a relationship or a new start at a relationship. Like I said, this is a power couple and there's going to be a lot of passion between these two individuals. This is like a dream come true with the star card. Okay. But she's very grounded. She's very grounded. Right. So there's a lot of earth energy here. So I definitely feel like you could be, you could be talking to somebody who is an earth sign or there is just a need for you to stay grounded, especially with the stress card being at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, so definitely stay grounded. And what does that mean? You know, meditating, praying, going out in nature, or just relaxing, you know, embodying both the masculine and the feminine energy, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, especially with this, um, with this two, I'm looking at the two of wands, so, um, to me, I feel like the two of wands talks about, I mean, there, it's the five of wands card, right, but I'm looking at two of the wands that are kind of laid down, right, so the two wands are laying down, and then the two lions are fighting, so I feel like there's definitely, and it kind of ties into the balance, right? There's a need, because the two of wands talks about planning, right? Making a decision and um, like a vision, like envisioning how you see your future. So there's the need for that balance, like not just action, 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 but kind of taking a step back too to also envision and plan. Okay. I'm going to take that card and then I'll cut the deck and then I'll just take one more card. Okay. And we'll wrap it up. But the card that came out said, <laughs> um, surrender to what is flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it is exactly what it is. will bring you peace. Okay. So not forcing it and surrender to success is at the bottom of the deck guys that's what i'm talking about this is some power play stuff on the board you are ready to experience abundance 
Don't look back at the previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Guys, yes, new world possibilities. Not looking back at the past, you know, taking those lessons with you. And that's about it. We'll take one more card, guys, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, Leo. But this is beautiful. You have some success just waiting for you. And it is um, something that is you're very passionate about. So whether it's a relationship or whether it's a promotion, job, career, um, it's right here, guys. Spirit, can I have one more card, please? One more card for my Leo team. I feel like this one. Surrender your need to always be right. So give others the gift of letting them be right by yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. So maybe that five of wands is conflict, right? With the two of wands, vision, okay? Vision, being open-minded, seeing things, seeing things, right? Seeing things from another perspective, listening. Listening to your partner, okay? Listening to that advice that maybe can kind of get you to move forward, right? But nonetheless, guys, that's what I have for my Leo team. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. While you're here, like and subscribe, guys. Congratulations. A lot of new good stuff coming your way. And um, as always, y'all, talk to your girl. I talk back. Peace.